So I'd like to say that I have a lot of experience trying to game on things that aren't necessarily meant for proper PC gaming. I've only rejoined the PC gaming crew in March of last year when I built my first PC, but before then I was always trying to find ways to play games on my Mac, my phone, or an iPad if the game in question wasn't available on one of my handheld consoles, or a PS4. I know that those who are interested in PC gaming or even just gaming with a classic keyboard and mouse experience might not have a PC. So today, I'd like to showcase alternative setups that can offer a PC gaming-like experience with equivalent performance to a high-end PC. This is made possible with the help of this video's sponsor, NVIDIA GeForce Now, which I'll tell you more about in just a second. I'll also showcase gameplay on those different types of setups and share some of my thoughts with you as well, since I was honored to be given the opportunity to try both the free tier of GeForce Now and their new ultimate tier for several days, the latter of which now has access to the power of NVIDIA's new 4080 GPUs, alongside many other features like DLSS 3 support, full ray tracing and supported games, 240 frames per second gameplay on competitive titles, as well as ultra-wide and 4K resolution support at up to 120 frames per second. Like I mentioned earlier, I'll tell you a little bit more about the service that is making these more unconventional setups possible, NVIDIA GeForce Now. NVIDIA GeForce Now is a cloud-based game streaming service that allows you to basically access a GeForce-powered gaming PC in the cloud to run the games you own on Steam, Epic, or Ubisoft. You don't have to install anything but the actual GeForce Now app on whatever device you want to play on, so that means for games like Genshin, which are notoriously large games, you save at least 70 gigs of precious storage space. It was actually pretty easy to set up. You just connect your games through your store logins, and games that are available for you to stream through GeForce Now will immediately show up in your library after being synced. Once you're set up, you're ready to play on pretty much whatever device you want, wherever you want, so long as you have a decent internet connection.
the chance to try GeForce Now's new Ultimate tier, which now has access to the power of 4080 GPUs. This came with a lot of new features that I could try out on my Mac, compared to my actual PC rig, which is also powered by a 4080. Not gonna lie, I came in with pretty low expectations because I wasn't too familiar with how cloud gaming runs, especially since I'm usually not connected directly to Ethernet. But I can honestly say that it was pretty hard to tell that I wasn't playing a game locally on a machine running a 4080 when I was using GeForce Now, and I was only able to tell when I squinted at the screen and noticed that the image was a little fuzzier than it would be if I was running the game on my actual PC or when my Wi-Fi connection was spottier than normal. Latency with inputs was basically a non-issue unless my internet connection decided to throw a tantrum, which isn't often, thankfully. In addition to features like support for 240 frames per second gameplay on competitive titles, you can actually run games with full ray tracing support through DLSS 3 at ultra-wide resolutions with HDR support, so games like Cyberpunk 2077, No Man's Sky, The Witcher 3, and Assassin's Creed look pretty good when running through GeForce Now, which I appreciated the most because I'm a sucker for pretty things. I do hope that cloud gaming services like GeForce Now will continue to improve and make high-end PC gaming more accessible to everyone, especially in a time where PC components are more inaccessible than ever. If you're interested in experiencing the same high-end cloud gaming performance I showcased today, use the link in the description below to sign up for GeForce Now Ultimate. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.